previously on the Kedagua Show. Holy shit, Cammy, you just hit 50,000 subscribers! The worst game I've ever played in my life. This game gets slaughtered, no question. I've even had more fun and interactivity from shitty DVD games. Even shitty DVD menus. Even menus are better than this. Wait, what? And now, <laughs> we finish off where we originated. This here is a DVD, not a game. Just, just look up there. There are all my Blu-rays. I love films. I'm a film lover. Not just games. I have a life, you know. But hey, this is a little bit unorthodox because Coronation Street and the mystery of the weeping little caddy whose life was ruined by the piece of shit that should never be mentioned got me pondering. It got me pondering a ponderable ponder. And that was, of course, that I've actually played with DVD menus that were more entertaining and interactive than that. And you know what? For the most part, it's actually true. There was a time in my most inquisitive youth where I only used to ask for DVDs that had games on them. Seriously. Didn't make the slightest bit of difference what the movie was, because if the menu had a game on it, then I was all over that shit, and that's all I wanted. Disney DVDs were probably the biggest offender to this small addiction that I festered on, and when I finally got around to completing the DVD game, I'd sit down and actually watch the movie. And... But it wasn't just Disney that exploited this. Most of the child-friendly DVDs that I ever came across always had some sort of interactivity with the DVD menus. And this... The Grinch! Was a very, very special one. And I'm actually going on a very small holiday this week, so I just thought that I'd give you a little short something while I was away. You know, just a, just for the laughs, you know. Just a quick little look at this particular DVD menu, because... Hmm... It's a memorable one. And you know what? For a DVD menu, that's saying something. But why is it so special, though? The only way to find out is to ha have a look. Do I want to do this? I'm not really sure. I mean, it can't be that bad. It's a menu. If it's bad, it's not exactly wrong. Yeah, I'm being overly conscientious, let's just have some fun. Anyway, this does everything that you'd expect a DVD menu to do. Everything's normal, everything's standard, until... Ah, what is that?! Now, already, this is a little bit interesting. I mean, it's not too often that you find a kid's section on a fucking DVD menu. I mean, you'd think that the fucking film would be entertaining enough for the bloody kids. But look at it, it just beckons us. Hey kids, click here. Yeah, obviously, this had to be Max's Playhouse, the cute, kid-friendly, comedy-relief animal sidekick. I have a strong feeling that the Grinch's Playhouse just wouldn't have worked out. Ah! Hello, Walter. Here we go. I do hope this DVD didn't dangle the carrot for nothing, because I want that carrot. I like carrots. Wow, here we are. And Max certainly looks like he's ready for some fun. What exactly does this have to offer me then? Let's have a little exploration. Music time is our first stop. And you know what, just watching that transition made me realize how much this place looks like Bubsy 3D. Now I'm a little bit unsettled. So anyway, music time features two sing-along songs. And the, all it is, is they're just, they're just chapters from the f fucking movie with subtitles. That is so lame. And we also have a stupid music video that shamelessly cashes in with the movie. Who sang this? Faith Hill? <laughs> Who? Well, one thing's for sure, I certainly have little faith on this hill. <laughs> okay, let's just go to the main event. Wow, there's actually a bit of variety here. <laughs> I like. Well, at least more variety than this. Let's start on rhyme time, and as the title for this game rhymes, then I think we're in good hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, it all seems simple enough. Pick the correct words to end the sentence. Um, what goes there? Um, uh, that one. You did the right thing! Okay, <laughs> hello Grinch. That was weird. Anyway, it actually turns out that whenever you get a rhyme correct or wrong, the DVD randomly picks a quote from the movie relative to your answer. Yes, randomly generated. <sighs> Already, this is actually kind of complex. Every second, it's still getting better than this. 
And it turns out that these quotes are taken from a lot of scenes. You did the right thing. Stay focused. Definitely not. Somebody's fabulous. I am so proud of you. It's almost like this movie was actually just made for this little DVD minigame. I mean, why else would they remake The Grinch? And then when you get them all right, you have this disgustingly cutesy little girl read it back to you. Oh, God. The Grinch settled down in his favorite old chair. I reckon a better voice could have been used to read this out, though. The Grinch settled down in his favorite old chair. He looked at his sketch with his cold, dark Anyway, that's done, and try another rhyme for double the fun. Okay, fuck right off. The care and feeding of a Grinch? What? Let's have a look then. Read it ourselves or have Max the dog read them. <laughs> yes, a talking dog. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait to find out what Max the dog's voice sounds like. The care and feeding of a Grinch. Okay. The care and feeding of a Grinch. The care and feeding of a Grinch. Ah! Was I dreaming? Angus, say something. Anyway, Max reads this story. The dog. It reads. And then he gets high. And how am I not surprised by any of this? And as for the Grinch's feelings towards the Who's, he doesn't like them. He absolutely, positively, most assuredly does not. Anyway, all this bullshit isn't the main reason I felt like talking about this. This is. How can you go wrong with such philosophical questioning like, how do I find things? How do I find things indeed? I've always wanted to find things. Where are they? Teach me in your most intricate and eloquent ways, Gridge DVD kids menu. The things must be retrieved, so help me God! Let's have a look. Hey kids, it's your DVD here. Okay. Hey kids, it's your DVD here. No, it isn't. He's the fucking dog's voice. So apparently, your DVD is now alive. Be afraid. Take a look at my remote control. It's lovely. That is a wonderful DVD remote. You should be proud, DVD. It's beautiful. If you can't find it, look between the cushions on the sofa, under the coffee table, or maybe even in the kitchen. <gasps> Away. I already had it. Of course I can fucking find it! How in the holy name of Tipple do you think I even got here without the remote? What an insulting thing to say. Terrible. You'll know where you are when the picture or words glow. Right, I understand. Thank you. Isn't this thing nice? When you have decided what you want to watch, press the enter or select button, usually found in the center of the arrows. What is this? I mean, I have the four buttons on my remote, that's just for certain. But in terms of the whereabouts of the enter button, which is in stationed in the middle of these given buttons, you damn lying, sinning dog of a whore! So here's the game, anyway. Looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. What does the dog say? Well, that's just wrong. 
The dog should be saying, The care and feeding of a Grinch. I just love how this even exists on a DVD menu. The reason that this feature exists on this disc astounds me. The fact that it teaches you how to use a fucking DVD player is just brilliant due to the fact that you need to fucking know how to use a fucking DVD player in order to fucking get here. It's just kind of like, Hey, you want to learn how to read and write? Well, you've come to the right place. All you need to do is read the terms and conditions and sign it at the end. I mean, the concept is just hilarious and I love it. But just before we go, let's have a quick look at Dress the Grinch, because why not? Oh, that's a good reason why we shouldn't have done that! This reminds me of a simpler time where navigating a DVD menu could actually be entertaining. And you know what? That just actually goes to show that you can get more pleasure and fun out of a DVD menu than you can out of a 2011 PC game. And the whole stupid how do I find things section of the DVD is completely and utterly pointless, bearing in mind that you need to know how to use the DVD in order to fucking get there in the first place. But guess what? Even though it's just providing you a teaching tool that you probably already know in order to get to the teaching tool, it's still more interactive than that turd down there. And you know what? Just out of all the joy that this menu has given me, this DVD gets the salvage. If it's your birthday today watching this video, then happy freaking birthday to you, and please remember to stay beautiful. Now, I must go and find... things. <laughs>